Good morning, guys. So, uh, nata karon sa Osamis, some undisclosed part of Osamis, and you can see the road we're traveling in, Balangay Road, ja. so kamay siyang adalan. And you might be wondering who's with me. Um, this Facebook page um, under the pines, ang nag design yud ani, ang nagunahuna yud ani si Michelle. And um, nag busy siya karon di siya makapost. So she asked the assistance of Miss Stella Jane, who is my cousin, di ba? Yeah. Uh, and who happened to be my cousin. So basically, and ako si Jed. So basically, this is um, this page has been designed by guys from Bukidnon. And kani akong katapad karon, I know. Tako ni siya utang sa taga taga Bukidnon. He has a lot of explaining to do. Kay kalit lang ni siya kawala. I don't know. Like it's over two decades since you last heard last heard him. Um, sa oy, you know. Um, I know you you know the voice but not all of you could put a face in the voice without further ado the man the myth the legend my dad Mr. Rick Abordo Jr. Wow <laughs> what an introduction and we my bondag sa tanan kinang inyong alagad kinang mo mo sa kanginan it was the XCR before and Stella Jane was my one of my announcers grateful kay ko nga nagahad kuha na rin chance na maka great once again sa atong mga friends and listeners and hindi ko may fans so yung maulaw tana all over Bukid nun I started going on air 1973 and it ended 2001 ingaw na kuha na katiguwang Okay, so kung natingala ka mo nga nung nawa, ah, natingala mo nga nung nawala siya sa kahanginan morning to bagkaron, driver na ako siya and I'm just kidding so dad, what happened 2001, nga nung nawala man ka sa air uh, honestly it was uh, economy ang nag push na ako because I don't know, I had two children three uh, actually Yeah, uh, but the the first two changed their mind. They were already the oldest sa graduation. Yeah, they can little change sa nursing course, which I didn't regret. Kay nakita po nato ang ilang progress. So imagine mag mag intern dua dungan tulo. Oh, kadi lang isa. So this is good. So I was forced to look for a greener pasture, and uh, the rest is history. I went to the U.S. Okay. Okay. So, mutung nawala siya sa DXR because he had to move to the U.S. Kay in taon to look abok nag nursing kadungan dungan pagyod so dili ilalim. And I'm thankful kay nakahuman yud bito lo si ate. Napo siya greener pasture sa Tennessee. Janice na sa New Zealand. Ako second and only son. Ako ng greener pasture na unsa man yung green pasture kaya desert to man. Okay, so based in Abu Dhabi ko karon. So right now, um, this is actually my last full day sa Mindanao. I had a month long vacation. Actually, it's twenty eight days, but technically a month because one month, one moon cycle is twenty nine and one fourth days. So basically one month. So Ugma lupad na put ko from Osamis to Manila and finally from ah yeah then the next day Manila to back to Abu Dhabi. So I've been planning this interview with Daddy for a long time. Pero I mean, ay mga issues like he had a throat infection, so wala siya voice and unsa on unsa on man nasirik abordo kung wala iting og nga iconic, di ba? So first question. Ano nga, na day first question Okay, first question dad Let's just focus on your time sa radio Because that's how people remember you What was the greatest thing 
or things that made you stick to radio for like how many decades? Because I, I understand you started here in Ozamis before yeah. uh, start, uh, DXOC in Ozamis City. Oh, DXSY. Oh, uh, so, yeah, DXSY. So before moving to Bukidnon and DXCR, unsa gi naka captivate ni mo about radio? Uh, I used to listen to radio, especially drama. Mm hmm. Unya, more about that track was a uh, glamour of uh, the, the trade and the industry. Uh huh. Unya, kana yung you will be first to get the information and share. Now, actually, we know nga, we cannot give what we do not have. Uh -huh. So, mukha ta kong news, ako gi unang news. Okay. Akin ning may pagka-meritis po ta ba? So, so akay tag mga news, sa mga pagkita bo sa palibot, dayon, ako nang na-develop nga, naganahan ko nga mo-share og information. Aha. Accurate information. Yeah. Okay, maulawan maka og mali. Pangalan man nimo yung nakataya. Yeah. So, mo gina ako ng kuan nga buhatag og info and education and uh, in terms of news of uh, unsay latest mga development sa sa community so mo na nagkuan ako that's so, why most of my programs are news and public affairs related in fact ipakyaw na ko na news from 7 to 12 <laughs> 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 from the newsroom of TXCR, we bring you the latest news. <laughs> With the David Foster Winter Games na ano, soundtrack. Background. <laughs> okay. So, Mona, you had the interest since childhood because I understand uh, my auntie, my sister's name, and even Lolo, they tell stories. They told me stories that I'm not going to be able you know, imagine you mga microphone. Did Toto sa where we came from? Sa Bukin. So, na, mag feeling broadcaster na siya, mga papilingan ni Lokot. So, that's how early in life he had interest in broadcasting. And, um, most of the questions I'll be asking, kabalo na ko sa answers. Uh, this one. Sa Bukit Nong. Uh, during that time, nga, like, you were uh, you were once president of Bukidnon KBP, right? Yeah. Uh, night times, nga, may, nay mga hot uh, situations. Hot situations. Uh, when I say that, I'm referring to mga lefties sa government. I understand that DXCR is mainly neutral. Wala kayo siya politics nga, nga programs. But... Uh, given nga naka sa media, were there times nga na mga threats, nga na mga uh, like messages from those those groups? Yeah, precisely. In fact, when they visited the campus, Mountain View College, isang yun sa they, uh, they visited? Yeah. Sa manang they? Uh, it was a group of, uh, uh, let's face it, uh, ingin nga ito mga leftists. Were they armed? armed? Okay. Armed, yeah. Uh -huh. New People's Army. Uh -huh. Isa sa ilang gi sulog yun ang DXCR. Okay. Actually, there were only three. Ang administration, DXCR, the clinic, and the college store. So that's four? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Ano niya, si... Kanang ilang gi... Waan bag capacity ang DXCR to broadcast. Uh -huh. uh, the, so na off-air mo? The... They, their only way to for us to not to go there is to cut the, the microphone cord. <laughs> but the transmitter is still ready. It's so a good transmit. Yeah, But oh. we were warned mm -hmm. not to or okay. else. Yeah. Then after that, I received some kanabi dong mga uh, news uh, mga information. Uh -huh. Uh, lead, uh, for their to, to update and to okay. improve their situation. Uh, so, propaganda. Propaganda, Ipa, that, precisely. That's the word. Ipa air sa Ipa inyo. broadcast. Uh, okay. Unya, based on our program format, 
religious, educational. Uh, dili, yeah. Listen kayo. That's why many times I turn the request down. Mm -hmm. Resulting to a threat. Threat, okay. Na, naman to sa unay ka ng ilang killing oh, squad. Oh, basta. Itawag ko na lang itawag Oh. <laughs> okay. So, I was threatened na i-liquidate ko oh. because of that uh, refusal. Okay. Break sa tahate lang. Okay, so you refuse to broadcast or to air their requests sa propaganda. Okay, that's interesting. And when was this? What uh, decade? 80s, right? Yeah. Uh, 80s and 90s. Also yeah. until the 90s. Yeah, because uh, I graduated, I finished my master's degree in 1987. That's master's in mass communication. In UP. And there was that recruitment dito sa sa UP sa University of the Philippines mm -hmm. and I also refused to join okay so during this time more they followed me up to the point nga na nag threat threat okay. and uh, ang team song sa ako o sa one of my workers so knew about that threat uh, Bukan dalam his eyes on the sparrow, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, muna langgam. Oh. Muna langgam. Oh. Okay. Uh, liquidation na siya. But I uh, spell it differently. Okay. So, na-upload yun na. Okay. Uh, na let's move on sa, uh, let's, sa 90s. Muna ning time na... Uh, um, you were yeah, station manager sa uh, radio station. I, another time I remember you had to go to Congress to renew the franchise. How hard was it to renew a franchise of a radio station? Okay, the FCR had 25 years, right? Yeah, uh, a and, franchise is uh -huh. good only for 25 years. Okay. So, I went to, because it's an act of Congress, a franchise uh, is uh, given by the Congress. Not to, parang authorization lang ba? Mm. It's not a license, it's, it's not a permit, but an authorization that you can go on air to broadcast. Okay. When I was there, I asked for the assistance of uh, some uh, politicians. Mm -hmm. But I was referred back to my own congressman. I I am so grateful for him, Congressman Tilanduka of uh, 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 the Second uh, District of Malaybalay. So uh, okay, uh, uh. And when he saw me, because uh, I always interview him during uh, the Bukidnon Press and Radio Club uh, 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 press conference. So, I put my hand on to you, sir, because I need your help, sa Congress, uh, for this franchise. Well, franchise? The XCR? Where are the papers? Go here. Cha okay. Tan aw niya. Cha leave it to me. Uli na ka. Ay napagdugay de. He helped me. And when, when I next uh, hear about it, it was already hearing na approved na. A franchise. A franchise, franchise na. Oh. Okay. So in gratitude, do the next uh, graduation ceremony sa MVC. Um, MVC. Uh -huh. I insisted to the graduating class that we will acknowledge this person to help us a lot. Mm. So, si ang game mo nilang graduation speaker and uh, believe it sila. So, ingon ana ang may tabo. Franchise is good only for 25 years after that. So, I ready. understand expired na po na karun. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> many years ago, uh, Teddy Asog, the, the acting manager at that time, asked for my help. Oh. I was very aware. Pastor Teddy Asok Show. Show. How's the show? To the show. Yeah. And I know it was also renewed because they are on the air to this moment. 
Okay. So currently, um, unsa man imong ano karon? So you were in the US for almost two decades from 2002 yeah. to uh, two, yeah. Then nagbalik mo diri sa two, se- Philippines 2017. Karon you're based in Osamis. Um, any plans of going back on air? Okay, mumun gud na imong life. Ah, by the way, unsa imong sa US, unsa imong trabaho, unsa imong kalingawan dito? Yeah. Na nakapahuman na imong nursing. <laughs> it was um, at a 360 degrees. Oh, kanya 60, so um, same direction. Turn about. 180 siguro, kaya 360 <laughs> same direction. Uh, yeah, opposite lang ba? Oh, so 180. 180 degrees. So, from from broadcasting, to manual labor. Manual labor? So, ganing, ganing landscaping of the Elon Maintenance. Uh-huh. Uh, eventually, I came across with a uh, uh, friend, Pastor Paiva, and my professor. Mm. And they invited me to join their... That's Pastor their, Severino Paiva. Okay, yeah. That's like Pastor Paiva. Yeah. Ah. So, they invited me to join their home health uh, services. Okay. So, dito ko, I, I started from being janitor and then eventually they noticed maybe my commitment. Mm. So, they made me again uh, manager, office manager. Mm. Ito, tag-iya na ka. <laughs> okay. So, so uh, pagbalik ni mo sa Philippines right now, um, what exactly occupies your time? Ang sa ilingaw ni mo karon? Okay. Uh, yes, you are retired. You are retarded. <laughs> yeah. Retired naman mo. So, unsa po yung ni mo karon dad? Yeah, actually, um, I focus on gardening and uh, my passion, music. Uh-huh. Pero, there's emptiness. Yeah, dili good maui akong linya. Kai? Unsa oh, sa giving out of broadcasting? And... Uh, there were requests, several requests, in fact. From? Pero, from some former broadcasters na ako nga now are managing students broadcasters yeah uh-huh. radio stations fm stations okay and they ask for my contribution sa ilang programming mm-hmm. but uh, i didn't turn it down to give ano na ba in due time oh <laughs> due time due time na panahon <laughs> Pero, so na realize na ko nga the call is always there yeah because um, one pastor said, uh, we cannot finish the work. The work will we'll finish, finish us. <laughs> so, plan is, mag produce ka, you know? Yeah. Because, uh, in fact, when I, after the, all these years na, mura bag ni try ko, mura ko attempt nga mo gamit akong equipment, mura ko, mura ko, nang libato ko pala, mura ko, na kuryente yan, uy! I, they, I cannot explain my, the feeling that I had to hiccup na po control. Okay. And then that made up my mind. Lord, this is it. So, You're calling me again. Ang unsa you pangayo sa to nga mga programs or content? Because basically, you'll, be, you'll now be a content creator. Not, oh. not content creator, but content. <laughs> Content, content. You like mala, kung na contento o ganang na content. So, content creator ka. Um, Doon ako yung sa mga type. Format? Oh, yeah. Doon ako yung mga programs aside from news. Kaya kung uh, musical, then short comments, then yung um, everyday life ba? Mm-hmm. Kung yeah. Na ikuwid sa i-switch na ko mga quotations or phrases the Bible na. Okay, so is it going to be basically Christian or religious in format or? Yeah, because I will be using religious uh, music. Pero content is applicable. Uh, basta kay it's about human life. Mm-hmm. Ano na na akong format to inspire. So, I had that program before, so I am planning to use the same title. I will inspire you. The Sigon Ko Ikaw. Okay, the Sigon Ko. Uh, the Sigon Ko Ikaw, for those who do not understand the 
medyo lalum na bisaya mm-hmm. it means i'm going to inspire you or yeah. you know. so um it we i understand this will be broadcasted or aired in an FM, FM stations all around but ambot lang asa but we will be starting so when do our listeners expect when can our listeners expect to hear from you again on the radio as soon as i am getting familiar with uh, the equipment okay pag okay ning di di atag nya imagine uh, after almost four decades nga nag lilo ko Okay. Yeah, like now, mga equipment karon. Okay, analog po mong yun sa una. <laughs> karon digital na. Digital na karon. So, yeah, it's it's basically the same controlling, yeah. the same principle. The format is different. Different case sa una, reels man to, mga cassette okay. karon. And, wana gani CD karon. So, it's all digital. USB and chips. Uh-huh. So, yun ala ako nga. As soon as ma familiar, just give me one or two weeks. Mm-hmm. And I will uh, uh, produce. Also. And in fact, I have na ako y storage ba? Mm. Uh, I visited Dixier about two yeah, weeks ago. Yes, a uh, 70th anniversary yeah. homecoming. And I saw my recorded program. So kung hindi to na ko ma recycle. Uh huh. Kaya di wala man ay va um relevant pa man yapo niyang content oh. until now. Wa- Although. Uh, apprehensive ko sa music ba ba si copyrighted na ba uh, pero ang uh, ang yeah. content na uh, apika po ito wala ito yung time element limitations so that I think that's one exciting thing to look forward to and uh, last question dad our plan was to go to Usamis nga nung sa Tudela magtapaingon <laughs> I'm <laughs> dito yeah kung sa matadili uh, I am in search of uh, Lanzones. Ay, Lanzones. Ah, ito. Wala yung palitin. Murag na source dili sa Lanzones. Oo. Oh. Kung wala gani, balik ka dito. Pero murag. Nangita akong Lanzones. Bakit akong dahil doon ka Abu Dhabi. Kaya pasti lang. Punoon gila akong malita. Kung 20 kilos, pwede, pwede. Wala yung wala dito. Oo. Oh. Okay, yung mga rambutan, mga durian, mga manga, mapalit man dito ang Lanzones. Medyo lahi yung presyo. Okay. High value. High sana na, ay, movement niya, may dali, malata ba? So, hindi so dito. And then, so, it's a long time to stay for several days. Mm. So, guys, um, hopefully, those, especially in Bukid Non, you know, nga nung nawala sa air si Rick Abordo Jr. And, sorry, it took like uh, two decades for you to get the full um, explanation from the man himself. Okay, Dad. Uh, before we end this, any last words to you guys? Yeah, uh, especially those in the kingdom. I hope you will be hearing me again. I, my part of my commitment is to hear this program in the extra again. And murag ilan ning i i air sa several stations in Mindanao kay ang nagrequest na ako ang manager man sa Hope Channel. Uh, din sa Mindanao uh, sa FM lang mm-hmm. so this might be aired in several stations all over Mindanao and hopefully uh, makadong na po mo sa ako uh, not very long from now okay thank you look forward to that and salamat nga mo balik ka sa air for all time sake I miss hearing you on radio <laughs> Okay, so that's it guys. I hope you had fun and you enjoyed a f- uh, few, like 13 minutes of our co- conversation while driving. Thank you. See you guys again. Thank you.